What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from No Shelf Space and today we're going to be taking a look at After Us from Pandasaurus Games. Now Pandasaurus did send us home with a copy of After Us from Gen Con 2023. I'm going to show you everything that comes in the box and you can kind of see it spread all over the table here. But I'm going to show you everything that comes in the box, give you a quick overview of how the game works and then wrap it up at the end. Let's hop in and check it out. Okay, so this is a little bit different of an unboxing video only because I have the game already set up on the table. So not only will I show you what comes in the box, but we'll also kind of show a little bit of how to play the game. Now there's going to be a ton of different decks out on the table and each deck is going to have a, a tier one or a level one as you can see right here. And there's going to be a level two and the cards themselves are just more powerful they're going to give you more abilities but we'll show you that in a little bit so there are uh four different monkeys that you can get chimps gorillas um honestly i forget what the other ones are called but there you go there's four in the middle and then everyone's going to have their own personal deck as well so this is the deck obviously for the yellow player but there is a personal deck for every single player in the game everybody's also going to get four of these little cardboard tokens and the cardboard tokens are going to have all the apes in the middle of the table, as well as bonuses that you can get each round. So this bonus here is going to give you two energy. This one will allow you to use something in your play area. This will get you two points, and this will get you two rage. Very cool. Also in the box are a set of objective tokens like this. These will go out on the table. We've got some set up here for our game that we're going to be playing in just a little while this evening. But essentially, these are just more tokens. They're going to let you do more stuff. It's really exciting and really, really fun. And because you're only using three, of course, you're going to have extras to, to use in different games, which I really, really like. Now, the player boards, you can see I've got yellow and I've got blue. But here you go. These are them a little closer up. There's yellow, blue, purple, a kind of a teal, a pink, and an orange. A very nice, very nice thick card. Uh, same as these here as well. These are nice and good size good thickness of card so i really like that but you can there's six different it's it's for up to five players but there are six different player colors that you can choose there's also a little bit off camera here there's also a bunch of different resources and the game is going to be about collecting resources and spending resources to ultimately earn yourself some points i'm just going to grab a handful of each here we go so you have these blue ones here those are flowers. You've got the orange ones, that's fruits. You've got the, the black or dark gray ones here, that is energy, or not energy, sorry, that's grain. And of course the batteries here are the energy and I just dropped one, but there you go. And there's a good amount of all of them and they're not a finite resource. So if you run out, you just use a suitable replacement. And on top of that, there's only just a couple more. I just dropped it on the floor, but here we go. Each player will get two of these tokens. One of them is going to go on the round tracker for their board. The other one is going to go on the tracker for the main scoring. That's everything that comes in the box. There's also player aids right here, as you can see. And I'm just going to show you something really quick. If you saw my unboxing of Emerge, and if you didn't, you'll be able to see it at the end of this video. This insert is just not very good. It's supposed to hold together in the box like this, and if it did, it would be fine. But as you can see, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but as you can see here, it's just splitting where they should all go together. So I'm not a big fan of this insert. It's going to work areas for all the different monkeys, but I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that insert. The rule book here, night. Oops, sorry, bump the camera. Rule book here, nice and detailed. It has everything you could possibly need to know about the game. It's not a very complicated game. In fact, there's only 11 pages of rules. And again, as I said in a previous video, a good rule book always has lots of examples. And what I like about this is it has lots of examples. It doesn't have a full round. I don't think it has a round. No, it doesn't have a round uh, kind of. I don't know what you call that, but you know what I mean. But it does have lots of examples on how everything works, and I think that is fantastic. The game also comes with a set of solo rules, so if you want to play this solo, you can. I'm not going to touch on that, but there you go. There's your solo rules. Okay. 
Okay, so now let's give you a quick overview of the game. The game is broken down into a number of rounds. You're going to assemble your tribe, you're going to attract new apes, and you're going to do some resting. When you assemble your tribe, you're going to take... Let me just move some of these components now. When you assemble your tribe, you're going to have a face-down deck in front of you like this. And you're going to draw four cards from that deck. One, two, three, and four. As you can see, the cards all have different symbols on them. And when you put them side by side, they connect and allow you to do things. Now, ideally, you would move these around and try to make the best connections possible, but that's not always going to be the case. But right here, we have a good example of a couple connections just with three cards. So how does this work? Well, we have these three cards. They go side by side. This box, when you have a completed box, you get or you pay and get the resources. The top row is always going to be gathering resources. The middle row will be paying resources for victory points. And the bottom row, you get to a little bit later in the game. So in this scenario, across the top, we would get two blue flowers, a blue flower and a fruit and a fruit. Across the middle, we'd get a free victory point here. We could pay one of one blue, one orange to get a victory point. We could pay two orange to get a victory point, and this would get us nothing, and this would get us nothing because there's nothing, as you can see, there's no complete box. So that's how that works. You'd just be laying those out in front of you, like so, as you can see right here in this example. Each frame, and this is called a frame, each frame can only be activated once, although there will be examples later in the game where you see this symbol, where you'll be able to activate a frame a second time after that you're going to move on to the attract new apes phase and what you're going to do is you're going to look secretly at your four tiles and you're going to pick one of these four tiles to play so let's say we play this one right here and it's not the orangutan i forget what that's called but anyway let's say we're playing with this one right here so we're going to put that face down now what we did forget to do is at the beginning of the game you take all these piles divide them into level one and level two you shuffle them real nice and you put them down on the table just like that. And we'll do that here as well. There we go. All right. So you pick a tile and you place it face down on the board. So you flip it and you gain the bonus. In this situation, our bonus is two victory points. And of course, as we said before, there are other ones. There's some rage. There's uh, reactivating something you've already activated. And there's two energy there with the orangutan. But we chose this one. So, as the yellow player, we would take our yellow disc, which is on the main board, and we'd give ourselves two points. Of course, at the end of the game, it's the first to 80 points who wins, although if multiple people get to 80 points, it's whoever gets farther on the track. So, there we go. So, that's two points. That's the first thing you're going to do. Then, you can attract the type of ape by spending three or six resources, and you can get the ape of the disc that you chose. So in this situation, we chose this one here, which means we can buy this or this. Now, if we had some resources and we would from here, we would have got one, two, three. We would have also got two fruits, uh, three fruits. We also would have got one energy. So this is what our kind of starting hand would look like down here. If I want to buy a level one right here, it's going to cost me three flowers. A level two is six. Here it's three fruit, six fruit. Here it's three grain, six grain. And way over here, it's three of any one resource or six of any one resources. So we would pay, because we can't afford the six, we would pay our three flowers to the supply and we would take a level one. Now you can look at the card to see what benefits it's providing you. And as you can see, there's a lot more now going on and you can now make a third row connection in the future. You can look at the card and then you put it face down on the top of your deck. Once you're done, you can then look at the bonus that a neighbor picked and you can actually do their bonus by spending two of the same resource. So let's say that blue decided to go with the orangutan tile here. So that's face up. Now I could pay two flowers because that are two fruit because that's an identical resource to the supply. And they were getting two energy. So I could then take two energy 
and put those in front of me. You can only do that once. If you're playing with multiple people, you can only pick one of your neighbors, not both. Finally, you're going to do your resting phase. And essentially, this is just a little bit of cleanup. You're going to take your cards that you laid. You're going to put them over to the side of your board. And it's a little messy, of course, but you're going to put them to the side of your board. And then you're going to begin again with assembling the tribe. And that's the essence of the game. You're going to can go around and around. And there's more to it because we didn't really touch on rage. You can take a card out of your deck for four rage. Um, and that'll be good later on when you want to start getting rid of some of these crappier cards because if you don't, if these are still in your deck, it becomes diluted. So you can spend or you can take four rage and discard a card. That's something you can do. There's other things you can do along the board as well that we haven't touched on. But essentially, the first person to 80 points is going to win the game. All right, everyone, that is how you play after us. This is a really, really fun game. I'm not ready to post any reviews or anything like that yet. I've only played one game. This is this is after I've set up for a second game, but uh, it's a lot of fun. It's very simple. You could play this and teach this very quickly. The game plays very quickly. You're going to be able to find a written review in a few weeks over on gamesreviews.com. But until next time, folks, thanks for watching, and we'll talk again real soon.